excited. I mean, this this kid, look, this little bump right here, gonna pop on me. I don't care about that. I, I do look. It's already coming. Out. Let me, uh, can you give me a couple guys? Yeah, it's something. Yeah, hold, right? So it was pierced with this back here? Yeah. Yeah. You did it with a gun, huh? Yep. This is angled straight off. Yeah, it's, it's going that way. Yeah. I showed it in the beginning, we guys could show it again. Nice. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I just want it on my ear. Yeah. She wants her ear back. Yeah, exactly. And I couldn't do it by myself because, you know, when you feel the pain, you're just like, all right, nope. Yeah, nope. <laughs> I would have forced this crap yeah. out of my ear. I wouldn't want it. Yeah. And that nose. So then if somebody else does it for me, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the backing and then just slide out the front. Do you care about this piece of jewelry or not? No, you can throw it out. Yeah. Do the focus oh, on that's this? It? Oh my god, thank god. That was going to be worse than that. Setting right now, so. It tracks the focus. Holy shit, that was in there. Thank you. Do I have like a bone in my ear? So this is all we could see. Hold on. From like up to here. And then this is how much was actually inside the ear. Let's see the ear. Like it already created that indent right there. See that little star pattern? Yeah, you have a star in your ear. Yeah, you have a star inside your ear. <laughs> Sorry, this is Sorry technical thing. camera difficulty. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. At least your white blood cells are coming. You're not in pain anymore, right? Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Back doesn't look too bad. It has a little bit of pus, but it's not the worst. And you have a small bit of bumping forming back here too, so you need to treat that as well, okay? okay. And then do you know how to treat it? No. Uh, tea tree oil. Oh, okay. You guys have any like, that I can show them? Yep. We always got tea tree oil. <clears throat> but wait until the wound is closed first. Yep. Yeah. Don't put it on Don't put it directly on, on this. So opening. wait like a week or something yeah. and then do it? Yeah, you'll start seeing it kind of form down and then you can put it on this part of your ear, like on the front portion. Uh -huh. And then but on the back. Oh, oh, okay, after. Yeah, on the back portion as well. How are you feeling now? Better. Better? I'm just okay. happy that it's over with. It's alright. You seem a little bummed out. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying. So that, that goes to show, don't get pierced with guns. That's another example. This is yeah. another okay, so my cousin right? just learned how, so she did all of our ears. Your cousin pierced your ear? Yeah. Did she clean your ear at least? She did it, yeah, when she when she did the, like, after the piercing. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, next time clean. don't trust your, yeah, it's it's next okay. time don't trust your cousin. <laughs> Yeah, that jewelry was too big for the amount of swelling that, like, what, that was going to happen to your ear. So, for the most part, they chose the wrong piece, at least. The piece we're talking about is... Yeah. So, this is a 16-gauge piece. Mm -hmm. And So, from that little crevice right there, up until the bottom of that, that's how much space you actually had. That's almost like a quarter of an inch. You need at least 5 sixteenths to kind of stay sane. For yeah. your ear to be happy. And my ear is pretty thick too. So it should have gone longer, yeah. It should have gone longer. But okay, either so way. that one's longer, right? Yes. So this one's a 3 8 post. Basically what we're going to do is just pop it in. And then this one's going to act as just your piece of jewelry. Okay. So you're not going to lose the hole. And you're not going to go through that pain for no reason. Okay, awesome. It's like a pool. Mm -hmm. It's just like a little crevice right there. Your body will heal itself. I would not worry about that. Yeah. Just take... Took care of it and clean out of it. Yeah. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better himself. Just gonna find a little hole. Let's start sliding it through. How long is it? Since January. Since January? Have yeah. you had it? Really? It's alright. You're here now, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna make you feel bad for this. <laughs> so, I want to see the angle after it's done. So. Yeah. It's an angle? No room, because this one's a little thicker. Yeah. And then this one's too short. Oh, okay. So, so we're just gonna go with a nice, even nice, longer, even longer. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And with that, you have a lot more choices too, don't you agree? So the ball is the part that twists on. Yes. And to the back. Oh, okay. 
Thank you, Gabriel. See too. Perfect. Uh, I was like, if I push on it a little bit, you see No, it's it. good because the swelling's going to go down after today anyway. Yeah. Now that it came out and now that I cleaned it up a little bit, yeah. it should, yeah. Perfect. Clean up one good good? one more time. Yeah, he's going to clean you off real quick. And then can you get me some gauze and some soap, please? Okay. <laughs> gauze. Start cleaning it tomorrow. Don't do, don't do anything yeah. today. Yeah, yeah. Some soap. Leave it alone. Oh, yeah. my. So this bomb, as soon as the hole closes up, just start treating it with a little bit of tea tree oil, okay? After the what? After uh, after the hole closes up. Oh, okay. Yeah, after it kind of shrinks together again, mm -hmm. start putting it on it. Do I have to twist it and stuff? Do I have just to move like... it a couple times. Okay. Uh, Meaning, like, just a little bit back Once. and forth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just to get the soap in there. I mean, you don't really have to kind of, you know, yeah. mess with it, mess with it. Especially right now. And what I'm rubbing on it right now is uh, antimicrobial stuff so from here. We have a premix that we make already. You can go ahead and show them. I'm talking about that guy right over there. That's antimicrobial soap, which is a premix right over there. We premix it just so we can spray it directly out here. It's a lot easier. You guys can do it at home too if you guys have it. Yeah, if you do get the soap, you want to dilute it and prep it because it's too harsh to put on there dryly. Exactly. Got to mix it with some water. What we do here at Lulu's is make women even more beautiful. Exactly. That's our that's our goal here. That's what we strive. Prettier. And it works. To make the beautiful even more beautiful. And it works. Yeah, and it works. Right? That's a good saying, right? Yeah. We're good. Check yourself out. <clears throat> so, you see that little bump right here? Mm -hmm. You're going to want to start treating that after the whole kind of strings back. Yeah. And okay. then there's a small one forming on the back. That one's not too severe. This one's worse, so I'd focus on that one, but just a little bit on the back, too. Uh -huh. Like, uh, literally around the ball. Cool? Sounds good. Sweet. And then just apply it every single day for at least two to three weeks, and then make sure you clean it off every time. Okay. Because you don't want to leave the teacher on for too long. It is, it is a little harsh for the skin. Yeah. Okay. So You're all set. Thank you. Look for the problem. Right there you go. Cool. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah.